Hello, and we're back. What do you get when you add these two? And this. And this. What do you get? I'm way to remember. <laughs> now look, Gomer. I insist you take this for your trouble. It wasn't no trouble. Take it. It wasn't no trouble. Besides, we kept you waiting around here long and you wanted to stay. Now, if you want, you can get yourself a uh, analog to HDMI. Converter or analog to USB. Or an HDMI to analog. RCA to HDMI. And a VCR. DVD combo. Now, I have over 250 VHS tapes that I personally have in my collection that I've never converted. And they're sitting there collecting dust. I have no, 250 plus tapes that I've got to convert over to digital. Probably never going to get them all done, but... You know, you can get yourself a uh, analog to USB uh, video uh, capture card, or USB capture, actually. Get yourself a capture card, or anything like that. And I believe they still sell VCRs. At least they did uh, on Amazon. I don't know, you know how reputable it is, but... Or you can look at your secondhand places. That's where I found all mine. I've got a couple of them. Uh, it takes <laughs> sitting there watching the movie to convert it over, but you know, at least you you know get get to go down memory lane lane or something. Heck, sit down with the family, watch an old school movie, convert some movies over. We've got also a bunch of uh, family movies that I got to convert over to. I've already converted eight of those, but yeah, I figured I'd just show a little bit of what I've been doing, how you can possibly do it. Um, and this isn't just for Linux; you can do this on Windows too. Probably better on Windows. And I hate to admit that, but a lot of stuff is. A lot of the drivers and stuff are written for Windows. I just happen to have all the equipment that I do and it works on Linux. So I got lucky on that one. Alrighty. Well, I will see you guys next time and I'll talk to you later.